Beautiful Berkey, beautiful copper. Feels so spacious. <laughs> I love the double sided windows, so breezy. Smile. <laughs> oh, and look at that art. I'm gonna zoom in on the art. It's wood quilting. It's wood quilting, copper foil. You designed the pattern yourself. I built the whole thing. And then, oh, you have more copper here. This is uh, Virginia, and this is her beautiful van that she's welcomed us into, and I'm excited to ask her a few questions. Never done this before on my channel, so it might be a little awkward, mm -hmm. but so lucky to have found someone so unique and amazing. On the road, oh, meeting people on the road is so it is, it's amazing. So Best I, people are on the road. Seems like that so far. <laughs> <laughs> so far, it's been really amazing connections, and like, with strangers too, it's just like, there's something connecting about like, being just like, on the road together, like, doing something so different together. Even though our lives are very different, our vans are so, so different, we have to connect on like different things. And it's just like, I don't know, it's special. Adventure spirit. It's venture spirit, that's exactly yeah. what it is. So far I belong nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everywhere. Do you, are you always, are you ever looking for a place that'd be like, I want to stay here for a while, like months well, or... Well, the island was like that. Yeah. I was there for two months and then I was away for three and then I came back for two months. Because yeah. I really loved it. I have a bunch of random questions here that range from, I'm not an interviewer, so it's, it's a range of, of different stuff. So I'll just start at the very top. Okay, start at the beginning. Where is your favorite place you've traveled? So what? <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> I have favorite places, but as soon as I say that's my favorite, then I'll go, oh, wait, but what about this other place? Nah. So I have a lot of favorites. Nice. But I loved Arizona. Mm -hmm. Sedona in Arizona just really spoke to me. Sedona I had sounds such magical. magical experiences there. I love the island and the people on the island. Um, Vancouver Island. Yeah. Yeah. I just loved. Um, I bet you love everywhere you go, wherever you are in the present. You are. It's your favorite. <laughs> it's sort your, of. Is this your favorite? My current favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You just seem like that. Well, it must be. I've come back for another night here. <laughs> yes. I feel like I've like twenty questions in here, so we can move oh, on at a like pretty a good game. space. Twenty Ex questions. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly twenty <laughs> questions. Is it the journey or the destination? Oh, is it the journey or is it the destination? Mm -hmm. So I think destination gives me the direction. I don't always get there. Yeah. So then it's the journey. Yeah, totally. I feel yeah. like expectations are rough to have on the road because ex expectations aren't always met. Well, you have to have something to start out headed mm -hmm. for. Yeah. Right? It's like you have to shoot the arrow somewhere. Mm -hmm. But. You know, unless it's like something you have a real passion to see. Mm -hmm. Like I'm having this problem right now. So I'm gonna leave here. I know I wanna do the top of Lake Superior, but Beautiful. I can't find anything between here and there <laughs> that I have a passion to see, totally, right? Yeah. But when I'm on the road, you just never know. Yeah. I might turn down a small lane and just be really, really excited about yeah. where I end up. I wish I could give you advice since I literally just drove that, but like I can't even think of waterfalls or beautiful nature things in that like five hour drive. I can't really think of anything. Well, there is a there is a sort of a club on Facebook scene. that's waterfalls and they oh, put all the waterfalls. Totally. Your van, what's your favorite feature? Do you have a favorite feature or something that you really like about it that really worked for you? I like that I did it. That's it's all you. It's so unique to you. Yeah. That's a really good feature. That's I, I love the blue. It's essence. It's a beautiful blue. I love the blue. I love my sink. I love the copper and the blue. Yeah, that looks so good copper. together. I love my the Berkey. Is nice. Your Berkey is shiny. Yeah. <laughs> like but shiny it also Berkey. gives me like really tasty water. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true. I just love my whole thing. My bed is really comfortable. Oh, I like my um, wood quilting. They're just like a... Uh, a thing that made you really happy, like a community thing that just like got the spirit so high for you. All the dogs I met. Dogs? Made me very happy. <laughs> You're so cheerful. <laughs> oh my gosh, would you ever get a dog? I have two dogs at my daughter's, they're her dogs. Yeah. But yeah. along the way, I have a thing with dogs, so they usually um, come and see me. So one of my major accomplishments. Animals are drawn to you. Yes. Mm. So my friend, Cindy, you know who you are. Um, <laughs> she has a dog. 
and its name's Ginger. It's um, a little wee poodly kind of thing. Yeah. And doesn't like people who like is afraid of people. And I said, by the time I leave here, that dog's going to sit of its own accord on my lap. Which will never happen. It just won't happen. And the dog wanted to like me so much, but would go like this and then run away, right? <laughs> One time, Cindy was sitting picking out burrs out of her fur, mm. and she just jumped down, ran over, and got on my knee, like to say, I don't want to have those burrs. And then yeah, fell asleep. You're the safe space now. And fell asleep. So <laughs> I have a picture of it. Uh, so that made me happy. Conquer that dog. To be got accepted seal of by that dog. <laughs> oh, there's my onion that I lost. I oh, did it. you find the onion? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite color? We need that for the film because I already found out earlier. It's but blue. Blue. At the, <laughs> at the moment. Always changing. But I'm really partial to gray and I like red and orange is good. What inspires you? If you're ever lacking motivation or is there something that you turn to like music, certain art? The next thing? I don't know. Of like, the next thing, <laughs> like the future. Yeah, that's that's the next really good. Thing? Yeah. Well, I have this, right? Yes, you're beautiful. I have a question that's leading right into this quote. So okay. this is a beautiful tattoo that says, don't just dream, do. Okay, so that's my inspiration. Yes. Because you can get locked up in, um, you know, dreaming, and yeah. then it becomes enormous. People write to me and say, you know, they, bought a, they want to buy a van, but they don't know where to start. And it's like baby steps. You have to just do something every day yeah. that takes you where it's you want to go. It's all about baby steps. Right? So if you get up in the morning and do a bit of research, that counts, right? Yeah. And then eventually it gets Once easier to do more every day. Like, yes. So you get bigger jobs every day until you're going in leaps and bounds and finally you have a van and you're on the that's road. That's beautiful. Right? So that's, that's inspiring. Or anything, not just a van, like anything you want, but nothing happens if you just sit around and dream about it. Totally. You have to make every day count. Is every little step to a big leap, but I want to get there. Well, and you did, because you got I, on the I, road. That's a big leap. It is, it's You have it's to leap. really, like, give yourself Appreciate credit it. for what you've done. Yeah. You've got yourself on the road. Lots of people can't get themselves on the road. I, do you have a favorite animal? No. No? Not even dogs? Well, it's that old question, are you a dog person or a cat person? And That's I hard. always have to say yes. <laughs> I'm gonna take that. <laughs> I'm a usually a big dog person, but as I get older, I see the beauty of a small dog in my life. I haven't had mm -hmm. a small dog ever, mm -hmm. but I've met a lot of small dogs, and I know in a van, a small dog would probably be nice. A lot, and I also they like live too. hawks a lot. Hawks. <laughs> That's majestic. I love hawks. Sunrise or sunset? Will I get to see if you sunsets? Have to I'm not or much of a get up early. <laughs> really? a sunrise. Most of the sunrise I've seen were when I was young and I hadn't gone to bed yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're crazy. You've always been wild since day one. <laughs> but I love them. Yeah, I love sunrise. But if I'm just like, if I have the two options, I think sunrise, I feel like on my channel, I always film in like time-lapse sunrises because they're just like so beautiful and I put my camera up and then I immediately fall asleep again for an hour and then I come back and beautiful footage of just Lovely. all these colors. So you don't actually but watch I still get them. To see it. I, I watch it, I watch it on screen. <laughs> well, when I was just in Alberta, I was in uh, Barhead, north of Barhead, and uh, the sun didn't go down until about 10 30 quarter okay. to 11 and then it didn't really go down it just it, it went down but it glowed along the beautiful thing. where were you um like why why did that north happen? of edmonton because you were north yeah, yeah. and see this lovely little band of light along the horizon oh. all night was there a hardest part of the van to build was there something that gave you a lot of trouble i cried when i put this ceiling up. the ceiling's always hard because <laughs> it's hard to hold it that you need help for a ceiling but also for sure. yeah i it had to use this glue and it was hot and it kept like oh kind of like running down yeah. and it's yeah. glue oh that's you gotta awful. hold your hands up and these are tiles so they all had to be like really perfect in yeah. place it's a lot of pressure this and is you a beautiful didn't want ceiling. them to slide yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful <laughs> so i cried a lot but it turned out beautiful, so it was worth the, the tears. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is a really unique ceiling. I love it. The lights were interesting because they had to go into those spots. 
Yeah. Because uh, otherwise they wouldn't sit perfectly. Because because you. Can, they look perfect. Yes. Yeah, so that was a bit of a trick, but my friend Robert helped me with that. Have you named your van? I yes. didn't even ask that yet. Oh, you do. Good. My van is called Axel. Axel. That's a cool name. Yeah. I have a cousin named Axel. That's so awesome. my dad's name was Alex. Oh, okay. And Axel has the same letters. Totally. And my daughter named the van because on my mm. license is the first two letters are A X. So she put all that together in a heartbeat and said, you Axel. should call it Axel. So Sounds Axel badass. Is. <laughs> I like that name. That's a cool Plus, name. Plus Axel's male and all the bands seem to have female names. Mm. So It's always she. He, it's always her. Yeah. yeah. So he has his pick of all the ladies. That's nice. Yeah. It's <laughs> Axel in a big pond. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't gotten around to naming my van yet. When I bought it, I was like, did, you, did it have a name or anything? And the two people that gave it to me, they were like, we called it The Bun because it's like big and brown and kind of looks like a hot dog bun and their band was called like the mashed potato dogs or something so we're like we're two dogs in a bun <laughs> it was a very dad joke he was, <laughs> was but i was like okay so maybe that's... not for me i also like to call it scar like from the lion king oh well like, i think it's a perfect name i think that because so it's that like should be its name you know what i should decide it right now you're right its name is scar that brownish color and he has the black mane and he has a scar on his face and where the black part of my van is where i cut like the sheet metal and it like literally looks if you look up it kind of looks like a scar. scar excellent scar just hanging out so that's with, with axel well that's good because scar is kind of a male name it's true so yeah axel doesn't have a lot of male friends so that's good there you go we got one <laughs> yeah they're buddies now bros, yeah, bros. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a motto or a mantra for life yes i have beautiful this came because I, there's a video done of me um where at the end of the video, the interviewer says, have you got any advice for people who are um, getting into band life? Yes. And I said to him, yes, don't just dream, do. And it's like so many people have found me on Instagram and, and written to me and said how that has inspired them. Like That's a powerful. really lot of people. That's amazing. And so at some point, I see after I keep getting this reaction from people and still like they'll still find the video new to them and I'll still get oh I was watching your video yes. and I've taken that on as a personal thing I've got it on my fridge or whatever they've done uh, right? it's so simple and straightforward yeah. it's really inspiring so it's on my arm don't just and dream it's on my van door <laughs> another thing that we have in common we both have matching tattoos with our van <laughs> yeah I have my little tree on the side of my van and she has the her yeah. tattoo and I have a don't big tattoo <laughs> yeah, it's badass. I love that tattoo. This that... is the same guy that Chrome used. Oh, cool. Yeah, because he awesome. gave me the name. It affects someone differently wherever they are in their life. Like, if they hear it at the right time, it can be so powerful. So I'm not surprised that a lot of people reach out to you. Well, especially in van life, because there's a lot of people sitting around wishing to be in van life. And they have yes. so many things. That You're living the dream. You're they, living the dream. It's but like... they've created things to stop mm -hmm. them. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and so when they write to me and, and, and say, well, I would love to do it, but mm -hmm. I can't do it because, right? I, I say, you know, I try to counsel them that, yeah, maybe not right this minute, mm -hmm. but if it truly is in your heart to do, you just keep making step, baby steps and eventually if every day you put some time it takes into a lot doing of steps, a lot of changes, a lot that of thing, yes. you'll have done enough things that it'll have its own momentum. That's and beautiful. And then it will, it will That's start like what rolling. We were saying earlier. The van is, I mean, it's lovely to it, have the van of your dreams, but the van isn't the dream. The van is the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Literally, Literally and, and metaphorically. And figuratively, <laughs> yeah. right? Because it's the life that the van gives you that you're after. I hope. Otherwise, yes. I don't think it's really the right dream for someone because it isn't an easy life. You know, it takes a it's long true. time to batten down everything every time you go, and then you know you're, something it is you work. forgot. Things take longer. But the rewards are you just get these beautiful places to stop and see. And it's if you don't like where different. you are, yes. <laughs> you can leave. Oh, that magical leaving yeah. skill. I love it. And Driving you meet, away. You meet lovely, reverse. lovely people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a dream destination, somewhere that you've always wanted to go? I'm kind of an in the moment kind of person. So for me right now, what it is, is what's available to me. So okay. what is close to where I am that I can get to that I would like to be? 
that's yeah. kind of more what it's like. I mean, I want to go back to Portugal and visit my friend in Portugal, and I'd like to do some more of Europe, which I haven't done. I have a dream that maybe I'll find somebody who has a van in Europe who'd like to trade for three months. Wow, that would and be an then experience. And I could do Europe in their van, and they could do North America in my van. Yeah. That would be a dream. I really like your answer for like, because your <laughs> motto is don't dream, just do. So I'm asking you like, dream, what's the dream? It's like, you wherever you are, it, what's possible to you is the dream. So like, yeah. that makes sense. You're consistent. <laughs> and you know what? I find that I'm much happier if my dream is, I have that big dream of going to Europe and, cool. and finding that person and doing it in a van. Yeah. That's a big dream. But I'm happier okay. person if I have little dreams that are accomplishable. Mm -hmm. So not having big dreams I can't get to right now. I mean, there's COVID in the way, there's finding yeah. this, there's that in the way. Yes. So you keep it in your head. But in the meantime, I have little dreams. What turned you towards van life? Would you have done it sooner? I had a van about three months after I decided I'd like a band. No, you, yeah, you were just like, <laughs> think it, do it. Yeah. I love that. What turned me towards it is mm -hmm. a cute story because I was a massage therapist for 38 years. Yes. And I had this wonderful client. Her name's Michelle. And she came in and she was, you know, saying to me, oh, well, I've gone down the rabbit hole. I just watching YouTube videos of van people all the yes, time. And I went, what is a van people? <laughs> and, yes. she, and she so she started to tell me and that she was all you know watching these things every night after work and she was feeling like she was addicted or whatever right yes. so I about a month later couldn't find anything on TV that was good yeah and I know the man thing and on YouTube right okay well I'm gonna look up something it's on a there. lot of content on there yeah. I, I found Bob Wells Okay, I've heard yeah. him. Yes, and he his motto is "You can do it. You can do it." Right? Like Love he's it. always telling pe people, "Yeah, you can do it." And he's more of a the no build build, start out small. You know, yes, just me. get something. I learned together. a lot from Bob. Yeah. yeah. So I knew that I didn't want to start out small, but I think that's really good advice because I hadn't thought of retiring at all, and I was already maybe 69 oh, wow. and um, I suddenly went I'm gonna retire and I'm gonna build a band so I worked one more year massage therapy so much. all that money <laughs> there to you build go. a van yeah the first night I truly spent in my van I was on my way to I was in Ohio I didn't start small <laughs> and then I was gone for eight months or six months or wow. something I did some sort of mat van meetups but I didn't yes. usually sleep there because I didn't have my van finished. So I'd mm. go to the van meetup, but then when it was getting late, I'd go home. What's something unexpected about this lifestyle? It, I think the people is something, it wasn't so much that it was unexpected in that I didn't think about it. It was more like, there is so many more people in my life now than yeah. there was before. Because when you're living in the city, going to work every day, you have friends but it's narrow compared you don't have the opportunity to meet mm -hmm. as many people and there's friendships happen on the road that are quite instant and long living like it's They're very inter interesting They're, yeah. yeah I have friends that like I was coming across um, to, to here mm -hmm. and my friend Natalie was texting me and going, oh no, they're looking at, there's tornadoes ahead of you. You know, here's a place, you should stop. So nice. Because we follow each other on Google. Okay. So it's like she's in Quebec. That's a beautiful connection. And she's like, oh, my friend Virginia might be in trouble, That's right? Good. I better warn her. All across the world. Yeah, no yeah. matter the distance. Yeah. yeah. In regular life, a lot of people don't find connections like that. Yeah. That's a personal thing. That's beautiful. Do you miss anything about living in a house? high level of Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, the strong internet. Yeah, yeah. consistent internet. Um, my daughter. Mm-hmm. Um, but she's not part of the house. Um, yeah, exactly. I built my house, too. No, I didn't build the house, but I bought an old house and renovated it, so it, okay. it really has my soul in it, yeah. too. But I find now I don't even want it. I, I want to get rid of it and make and get the money out of it yeah. and do something else with my life. Sure. This yeah. is a beautiful van. Yeah, this is this is a home. And usually, not always, but sometimes I know where everything is, <laughs> <laughs> which but, I didn't in my house. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen a shooting star? 
Oh yes, lots of. You have. Yeah. Okay. I had a really wonderful Did experience you? with a, in the desert because oh desert, sure. My, there's a lot of stars in the desert because there's no lights. Like you're out in the middle of like no, there's no light, light pollution. Light pollution, right? Yes. So you can see the stars. Yes. And there's lots of of uh, shooting stars. And Mark, we were in a little group. Really, lots of them. Yeah. And we were in a little group, yeah. and so he said, "Okay, I'm gonna like set up my cameras because he has all this lovely equipment. I'm gonna Jealous. catch a, a star, right? Yeah. Like I'm gonna get a shooting star." And so I thought, "Well, that's cool. Look at all this beautiful equipment." And then I, I just went, "Oh, I'm gonna take a picture of the sky," and I went, Shh. and then I looked, and there was a shooting star, and it was just after he How? said it that I caught. You the, caught a picture. And of I a didn't shooting even star. see the shooting star. I just decided Dang. to. Take a picture. That's crazy. You weren't even like filming or anything. It was a picture, an instant yeah. moment that was and it lucky. Was just, wow. And he was mad at me. No, really. But, <laughs> yeah. You, know, <laughs> you mean, got all this expensive equipment. Make it, so, make it look so easy. <laughs> yeah, just, but, have you ever seen uh, the Northern Lights? No. That would that, be cool. That, and I keep trying to see them. I was up there and I didn't see them. And really? Uh, my daughter keeps seeing them. She sees them? Well, Where she was she? goes up to northern Ontario um, at camping and stuff and she's seen them. I know. Yeah, this. some spots, they don't, they certain don't, time of day. They yeah. don't seem to be my thing. I really want to see them. What's something about Toronto that you're excited to get back to? My, besides your daughter. My daughter. <laughs> no, I knew you were going to answer that. And um, your dogs. The dogs, yeah. my daughter. My friends that live about the city. Thank you so much for answering all these questions with me. And Virginia V. Van Boom saying bye. <laughs> Follow her on Instagram at V. Van Boom. Bye. What a wonderful past couple days full of hiking, nature, and van life friends. So lucky to have met a new friend. Her name's Virginia. V. Van Boom on Instagram and YouTube. Check her out. And actually, her van. It's just right there across the street. We ended up both having to wait until Monday morning for Service Ontario to open up so we can do paperwork stuff. She is coming from BC. I'm headed to BC, we're crossing paths. She's originally from Toronto and we shared so much good info and good times and I'm really grateful for that. So I have a new van life friend and so exciting. Bye V. <laughs>